Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsuzi, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where our duplicants will have to go hungry. No calories left there. Um, we are here on Rhyme. And Rhyme is a pretty frosty planet. Uh, that's why um, we have heaters to at least counteract that a bit. Another problem that we are currently facing is we do not have much of. Uh, air left that uh, we could we could uh, produce or consume because there is not a whole lot of uh, algae around here um, but we have detected a bit of a water source up here which we are trying to get to so that ooh, that's something new over on this side must have come in with an update so we will have to use this water to produce uh, oxygen and I think on this one we do not really have to worry about too much of cooling the air down. But as we did in past episodes, it will take a while until we get up here and uh, build up a, a setup there. So I guess we will just skip forward and hope that um, our duplicates do not starve or suffocate until we get to that point we are still on the brink of starvation here however uh, if we have a look up here there is quite a bit of uh, algae that we can dig out there is also a bit uh, oxalite uh, gassing off so if we have a look at the uh, oxygen level that's sufficient for now if we look over here uh, there is not so much but we are making progress Please, please. Lindsay, you're dying on me. Yeah. Suffocated because could not get out here. Built in. And that was the researcher that we hoped for so long. So... It's basically back one square uh, trying to get a new researcher however uh, on the plus side that's uh, one duplicant less that we have to feed um, what we should do uh, somewhere let's check these off um, where was it? Furniture. 
Where was the gravestone? There. And let's make that out of granite and stick it here on this end. This means currently we have one mouse less to feed and we are not doing any research currently. Um, so that's another duplicate death. Starved to death, yeah. Uh, that's still a thing. But our crops here are almost grown. And you were our digger. So let's see if we can get through here. Um, let's disable this for now. Because we first need this setup to be completed. Maybe we should stock up on, on our food a bit first before we uh, think about adding duplicates. Um, and here, if we look the pipe system that's that's looking good the gas pipe system that's all hooked up and the electric wiring i have so far only connected the gas pump here on this side uh, until we can get everything else sorted out also with uh, with, the, with the generator and we will probably have to repair this quite a bit because uh, in here we need uh, hydrogen and currently we have uh, oxygen. There's a bit to do, and uh, with only two duplicates, it is not done fast. So, ah, Rowan, you're our digger, which means Hassan has been our uh, builder. Uh, that might explain why uh, there is not too much progress uh, on the building side of things. We can always look in here and uh, uh, then not take a duplicate. Because mostly the resources that we have in there are also good. Okay. I mean, with, with only two duplicates, there is so much work to do and uh, only four pair of hands. Or is there two pair of hands to do it? So, 
Hi, I would guess we will make another cut here uh, until they uh, actually make some progress or if our food situation stabilizes enough so we can add a third duplicate. The food situation has stabilized a bit uh, thanks to me placing uh, a heat source here so uh, we can sustain more plant life up here. However, on the downside, with uh, these two heaters running, this basically means uh, every, almost the whole time someone has to run the treadmill uh, to uh, generate enough power and load the battery up a bit. So, let's check. Um, Larva eggs, yeah, we take them. Once they hatch, we can make barbecue, which should help our food situation even more. But then I thought, okay, then maybe let's start thinking about a bit of a different um, power setup. That's why I dug something out here on the side for a coal generator that should bring us a bit more um, more power. And that would probably free up a duplicate from running on the treadmill. Unless, of course, we're running out of coal. I had to turn off this one down here because that was uh, just too much. Because I wanted this, this treadmill. Uh, this generates... Uh, 400 watt and uh, uh, this one that's uh, 120 plus 120 plus the uh, 10 that we need here and I want a bit of something to go into the battery and then of course we have the, uh, the diffuser as well so yeah just does not work out with uh, three space heaters. But I guess if we manage to get this sorted out, we are then in a in a better position. And I also noticed down here we have a little bit of something. Question is it good? Leaky oil fisher. Yeah, well, not terribly useful. But we are making progress, albeit slow it is. Our generator is filled with coal and actually producing power so that should free up some of the time of our duplicates so that they can focus on other things and I think to better uh, organize the, uh, the power production there we would like to have a bit of uh, of uh, uh, automation for that we need refined metal so maybe let's give this slightly higher priority
because then we can have here a smart battery hooked up um, to determine uh, how much um, we will need. I need 200 kilograms of refund metal. We're going with copper here because why not? And then we will also need a bit more for a few pieces of, of wire. And as always, uh, let's look, hmm, yeah, let's take those seeds and add them to this list here. And then maybe once this one is grown, we can replace it with uh, bristle blossom, bristle berry. That might give us a bit more food. We are currently constantly above the zero calorie line, but it's not yet that stable. So we are also often dropping down to. Uh, below 1000 kilocalories which is not good and of course uh, we probably also want to have a bit of cold storage there because only then we can ensure that the uh, uh, that the uh, generator is actually running and there everything or almost everything is done here so all that's missing is a bit of power to start the whole thing and here I overlooked something important. In order for the smart battery we do not only need the refined metal for it, but we also need to have it researched, which we don't and we don't have a researcher. So we are locked there until we can get one which will not happen until we sort out the uh, food situation here, which is getting better slightly. So next thing, or basically the, the last thing um, that we need to do here is start this up so we can then finally produce the oxygen which we pump in here and release right bang in the middle of our base right and down here they are still delivering coal But eventually we will have all the cold stored down there and then they can get around to the other tasks. Looking at this setup working here, it does somewhat work, oh, but it's, it has its hiccups. And then occasionally it loses its power completely and we have to kickstart again. 
here we have mostly sorted out the, the gases but that will of course change because we still have to get in here um, to do a bit of uh, clean up and uh, also uh, repair. If we look again, yeah, now we have messed everything up again, which means uh, we are getting damaged up here. But we have a uh, working uh, oxygen production. We are pumping in uh, oxygen that is probably a bit warmer or at least not colder than the uh, than the area around it and you can see this space heat this one makes makes it different um, of course we do have still this issue of this not having power but we will address that in the next episode so hope you enjoyed this chaotic one and join me next time when we figure out how to get out of this almost non-populated uh, colony until then goodbye <laughs>